All right, to change your uh, layout into a PDF, uh, from a PDF a, to a TIFF file or to a JPEG, you're going to hit the print button here, and then you already know how to get this expanded dialog box. But you're going to hit this PDF button. If you want to turn it into a JPEG or a TIFF, you're going to select it right here. And if you want to know what these are doing and what's controlling that, go to your finder, go to your hard drive, go to your library folder, and then scroll down to your PDF services. And in PDF services, uh, this one is the JPEG, so you notice it's the same thing here, right? Uh, this is the one for the JPEG. Let's move this out of the way. These right here are being controlled by this right here. So let me just cancel that for this for the moment. Ah, Dave. Uh, so if I want to TIFF, you can uh, like if, let's start with a JPEG. If you want to make a JPEG, that you're going to do, uh, it'll open up your Automator. See it up here. Automator is opening. So it'll open up Automator, and I have mine set to make 300 DPI JPEGs. If you've never done this before, uh, and it's right here, if you've never done it before, uh, this is the PDF folder to a JPEG. It'll be 200 DPI. Well, we don't want 200 DPI. We want 300 DPI. And if you want to make yourself variations of that, uh, then you could. Um, you can also, uh, at this point, you can change it to a TIFF if you want to make different versions of TIFFs. So that's that's how you're going to change that. So like if I went in here and clicked on the TIFF, it's going to tell me that it's making a TIFF file at 200 DPI and you'd probably want to change that to 300 DPI TIFFs. And you would just save it and then go to File, Save. And then you can go ahead and close it. And I, you know, you can name it if you want to name it to something else. So uh, then, when you go back to uh, your aperture, and you go print, and then you go to PDF. If you want to make a TIFF or a JPEG, let's we'll make a TIFF since that's what you were asking about. Now you can see that it's working up here. It's rendering the PDF pages. Now, uh, it's going to ask you where you want to drop them. If you just put them on the desktop, it's going to spread all of them all over the desktop. So the best thing to do is go ahead and go to Other, and then create yourself a new folder. Let's call this RA Test, and we'll create that folder, and we'll drop that on the desktop. And then we'll say, since there's nothing in there, you don't have to replace them. I'll say Continue, and now you'll be up here looking again. It's, it's copying the, the folder items. I could slide this over, it's still working. I could slide that over. 
we can look in here. See, it's making them. Okay, it's done here. So here's your tips. If I pull this one into Photoshop, you can see it. And this is mega huge. Look how big that file is. It's like 52 megabytes. I really don't know why you'd need a TIFF. It's gigantic. So we can go uh, image size. You can see that it's a 14 by 11 at 300 dpi, which is what we set it up as. Cancel. And then if you wanted to make the same thing in uh, JPEGs, what we can do is just... Um, Let's just put this on title folder here. This could be the, the, the TIFFs. Uh, let's see. Take the first one. Let's call this the TIFFs. Now, if we wanted to make a new folder for the JPEGs, um, then we have it already set up. I can do the same thing. I can go here to print probably go a little faster since they're not as big. I'm going to go to as a JPEG. And remember, I already have it set up at 300 dpi, which is what we want. And then it's going to come up with that question, where do we want to put them after it finishes rendering? See, it's rendering right now. And then let's go to other, and there's the folder, and we'll say open, and continue. All right, so they're already done. Now let's go right over here, let's go to open. There's the JPEGs, we can pull them into bridge and look at them. I can just open that same one in Photoshop too, just to confirm. Go to image size, and it is a JPEG, JPEG, 14 by 11 at 300 dpi, which is exactly what we need. Now, one thing that I do when I want to show them to a client, I can just kind of pull the the first nine. I think that's all I had images in. I have this already set up to where I have a template that makes PDF slideshows at 72 dpi. So I can just select the ones I want and then hit refresh and it's going to bring up uh, all the ones that I've selected. And then I have the, my document set up as an, uh, an eight, uh, eight and a half by 11 at 72 dpi. You can of course change that. The more you, the, the the more you change it, the more printable it's going to be. And then my background, I have it custom. I have it set at this gray so that uh, it's 75% gray so that this outside part right here that it shows in the slideshow is gray. I tried white, but then when you have a white background, you can't really tell where things start and stop. So I use custom at 75% uh, as on the gray scale. And then uh, I don't require a password to open it or anything else. In terms of layout, I have it set at one column, one row. The top, bottom, left and right is all 0.17. This is all left unchecked. For my overlays, I uh, you know this it's controlling this right here. I have it at 16 point Arial in black, uh, showing the file name and the extension, so you know exactly what that page is called. And I don't do any of the other page numbering. In terms of header, I don't have a header. In terms of footer, I don't have a footer. Playback. Um, I don't have it open on full screen mode where it just automatically starts playing, um, nor do I have it loop. Uh, my transition is white, left, speed is slow. 
and uh, in terms of watermark I don't think I have anything set up in the watermark section but you could do that if you wanted to and then I have this view PDF after save checked so um, once I got it I did I hit the refresh preview and then I hit the save and now it's going to create it and so I'm going to call it I'm just going to name it slideshow underscore RA underscore test underscore and this is with the JPEGs and I'll just put it in that same folder and I'll hit save it's going to create it for me and then remember it said open it up so it's going to open up in my uh, Acrobat it's probably open up in your Adobe Reader if you have that and then I can just scroll through the pages as one two three four five and see this nice gray area you can definitely tell where the separation is six seven eight and so on and um, it's a relatively low uh, it's, it's like less than a meg so you could actually email this to someone uh, depending on how complicated your slideshows are it might get like you know 10 megs or, or, or bigger you might have to find another way to uh, transmit it to them if, if you don't have like a use send it or something like that and that's that's how you're going to do it